streamer setup A, streamer setup B. Two ways to stream. What's going up, it's V here, and I basically wanna show you guys a remote stream setup for a remote dueling. So what I wanted to do with this setup is show you two ways to set up a remote dual stream. Now, obviously this is my main stream setup, so we'll go with this one first. I have an uplift desk. I'm gonna go over every like thing I use, basically. Uh, secret lap chair, I don't think your chair matters as long as a gaming chair, it's more comfortable because you're gonna be on here for a couple of hours. This is the kind of setup I'm using. I believe this is the A6100. I broke my 6400, so that's the A6100. Has a little bit of a zoom lens. And then I use a Logitech Brio. I'm going to be replacing this Brio soon with another DSLR camera. The quality is a little bit blurry. The Brios aren't bad, but I'm not a big fan of them. I'd rather use another DSLR, so I'm going to be eventually be getting that. I have Elgato stands to help stabilize the camera because, hold on. You want this bad boy stabilized as possible. Uh, if you hit the desk, that's pretty much stabilized, which you want. You don't want everything shaking around, as well as this as well. So that's why I use uh, the Elgato stands. They both have, one has a mount here uh, for, the, for this camera. Uh, the other one, a webcam. The other one is mounted onto my desk. So that's really important for that. And yeah, I mean, it gets you that stream set up. Once again, this is my face cam. Uh, if you're not face camming, you can just pop that down here. And here's your setup. Now, if you notice, the quality right now looks pretty crappy. So it's looked a little bit crappy. I do have my lights on, so it might look not as bad. But overall, it looks pretty dark. So I got some lights. So hit that button. Boom. You got light setup going on over here. And what that's going to do is that's going to make your cards look a lot better. So they're going to be a lot more brighter. No matter what shape setup you have, I highly recommend any lights. Now, these are expensive. These are Elgato lights. There are cheaper ones. On my other setup, I have cheaper lights. I do have a Shure SF7B microphone. So there's that as well. This is the Shure. And this, so I had the I had the Rode stand. I didn't like it. I actually wound up getting rid of it. And I got the Elgato stand. What I like about this is I could just tuck it away. Look at that. <laughs> well, it's not doing as, as easily, but you can just tuck it away. I just hit knock that down. And hey, look at that. Out the way. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, I also use the DT990 Pros. Once again, this is overkill. You don't need any of this stuff. I'm just, just because I stream, I want to have like really good gear. And um, this is by Razer. It's their little stand, which you just pop this bad boy on. You're good to go. Um, and then Sound Blaster. Once again, I'm just using, listing everything I use. Uh, most of my sleeves are done by Imperial Duelist. Imperial Duelist is definitely the best sleeves for me. These are double sleeves. Sometimes I, I go double sleeves, sometimes I don't. Imperial Duelist also has double sleeves. Here's the Imperial Duelist mat as well. Their newest mat they have out. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's what I use. Um, this is my Edison Farm, so I throw it in this deck box. But this is basically my stream setup for this. For the Logitech Brio, there's going to be a program called G-Hub. And that's going to let you get in and modify any way you want your, your camera. So really, really cool on that. On to the other setup. So this is my MacBook. Now, you can do this with a, with a laptop as well. There's a program linked down below, webcam, that will actually do this for you as well. So this is with a MacBook, but you can do this with a laptop as well. You actually do it with an iPad, but you're going to have to have two Discord accounts. There's a ton of YouTube videos out there already that go over that. So I'm not going to be going over that, but there are videos about how to do that. Okay, this is a cheap $10, uh, $10 light. You don't need nothing super expensive, but look what it does for you. Look how this without the light. It's night and day. Once again, here's the cards. I'm just going to throw them all over the, all over the field. You can see over here, all over. And here's how they look without the light. And with the light, much better. A $10 light will do that for you. So whatever remote dual stream set you have, make sure to get a light. It's just better quality for you, better quality for your opponent. You can see the cards a lot better. Uh, without a light, it's obviously a lot more darker. So you, you're gonna wanna get something like that. The cool thing about, I think Max, Max updated. So you, if you have your camera and you have another phone, uh, you can get an older phone. This is an iPhone 11, but you can get older phones as well. Y you can connect your phone and use your phone to your MacBook, which is really cool. You can do the same thing with your desktop, with your laptop as well. You're gonna go wanna get one of these stands on Amazon. These are relatively inexpensive and it has, you wanna get ones that have a foam mount. Once again, super simple, super easy. And you can connect like this. This is a relatively easy setup. This is another Imperial Duelist mat. They have like the best stuff, but uh, yeah, no, this is how I do my remote dual setup. If I wanna go mobile, I just need to bring this stuff with me and I'm good to go immediately. It's so easy to set up and do remote duels. Monday through Fridays at Grandmaster Games. You definitely wanna check it out. 6.30 remote dual locals, guys. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. It is the best remote dual locals around. Now for headphones, I use the AirPods Pro, but you can really use any headphones as long as they have headphones and a speaker as well. 
So that's not that big of a deal. You can use either or and you'll be good to go. You get yourself a cheap light, cheap desk. This desk cost me, I think like 50 bucks at Big Lots. It was a dirt cheap desk. And it's a really good, it does a job. Once again, cheap folding chair, $10 folding chair. And you're ready to place a remote to a local. So guys, if you have any questions about your remote to setup, please comment down below. Get us some OTS packs. You can exchange your price packs for other things at Grandmaster Games as well. They have a ton of cool things that you can exchange for. So definitely click on the link down below. Join their Discord and check them out. It's your boy V, and you boys on the screen.